Hi guys, welcome back to BBC Academy. Priyanka Babu is back with one more new video on reflection of light at curved surfaces. In my last series of lectures, I discussed about the fundamentals of reflection at plane surface, loss of reflection at curved surfaces, like concave mirror. First we discussed, then convex mirror. Okay, we have seen the ray diagrams for these curved mirrors. The image formations also we have discussed for each and every mirror. Okay, in today's session, we will confine our discussion to the mathematical derivation part. We will derive the mirror formula as well as the equation for the magnification. Before going to discuss these concepts, let us have a look on sign conventions. Okay, let's start this session without wasting much time. So, dear students, let us start the sign conventions. What are sign conventions? Sign conventions are the rules to be followed while measuring the distances as well as heights. Okay, so what are those rules to be followed? Let us see. Now, the first point is uh, in while measuring the distances, all the distances should be measured from the pole. This is what the first important point. And the next one is we have to consider the direction of the incident ray. Okay, so now we will see how the rules will be implemented here. First rule is all the distances measured along the direction of the incident ray are treated as a positive. Okay, so the distances measured from the pole in this direction are treated as positive. Why? Because this is the direction of the incident ray. Next one is all the distances measured against the direction of the incident ray are treated as negative. Means if you are measuring from pole to this side, those distances are treated as negative. Okay. All the heights measured above the principal axis, those are positive. And the heights measured below the principal axis are negative. Okay. Let us see. I have taken the concave mirror example here. I have considered a concave mirror. Okay. Now let us consider the direction of the incident press. Incident. First, we will measure the focal length. Focal length is measured from pole to focal point. Okay. So it is measured against the direction of the incident ray. So the focal length is negative minus here. Okay. Similarly, let us measure the radius of curvature. Radius of curvature is the distance from the pole to center of curvature. So this is also measured against the direction of the incident ray. So radius of curvature is also negative. That is minus R I have written here. Let us consider an object O dash. Okay. Let us say U be the object distance. That is the distance from the pole to object. The object distance is also measured against the direction of the incident ray in this case. So object distance is also going to be minus u. Okay. Let us say image is formed here. I i dash is the image. The distance from the pole to image point is called image distance. Okay. So this image distance is also measured against the direction of the incident ray. So I have taken it as minus v. In concave mirror, especially for this case, all the distances are negative. Okay. Now coming to the heights, let us say the height of the object O dash is H naught. It is above the principal axis. So this height is treated as positive. Coming to the image height I I dash, let us say its height is H I. So image is found below the principal axis. So the image height in this case is minus H I. As I already mentioned, the heights above the principal axis are positive heights below the principal axis are negative. Okay. This is what the situation for concave mirrors. Let us see for convex mirrors. Consider a convex mirror here. Light rays incidence in this particular direction. Okay. Let us measure the focal length. First of all, the focal length is the distance from pole to focal point as usual. Okay. This distance in this case, it is measured along the direction of the incident ray. So incident rays are in this direction. So distance is also measured in the same direction. So the focal length in this case is positive. Similarly, the radius of curvature, the distance from the pole to center of curvature, it is also measured along the direction of the incident, uh, incident ray. So it is also positive. Okay. Consider an object O dash. 
let us say u be the object distance okay the distance measured from the pole to object is called object distance here this distance is measured against the direction of the incident ray so in this case object distance is negative here the image is formed inside the mirror for convex mirrors image is formed inside the mirror so the distance from the pole to image is called image distance this distance is measured along the direction of the incident ray so this distance is positive coming to the heights let us say the h naught be the height of the object o dash so it is above the principal axis so it is yes positive or negative obviously it is positive coming to the image image is also formed inside the mirror and that too above the principal axis so in this case the image height hi is also positive these are the sign conventions to be remembered for concave mirrors as well as concave convex mirrors okay dear students now we will derive the mirror equation to derive the mirror equation let us consider a concave mirror of focal length f and radius of curvature c as shown in the figure okay this is what the focal length f and radius of curvature okay consider a light ray strikes the concave mirror at point a so what happens oa is called as incident ray here okay so at the point of incidence a i have dropped the normal onto the principal axis and this point is called as foot of the perpendicular and let us say the point a is at a height of h from the principal axis okay at the point of incidence a the light ray is reflected and passes through point i on the principal axis so we call this uh, ray ai ai as a reflected ray okay let us uh, draw the draw the normal from the point of incidence a which passes through the center of curvature c the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is called as the angle of incidence theta is the angle of incidence in this case okay this is also equals to angle of reflection angle of uh, reflection is the angle made by the reflected ray with the normal these two are same these things which we have already discussed in our fundamental classes okay now let us say the incident, incident ray o a makes an angle alpha with the principal axis here is the the alpha similarly the normal makes an angle of beta with the principal axis and gamma is the angle made by the reflected ray with the principal axis and uh, let us say u be the object distance and uh, v be the image distance in this particular case okay so if you observe this particular diagram we will have number of triangles what are those triangles if you see what the triangles are a o c is one triangle a c i is another triangle three right angle triangles also we have those are a o p dash is one right angle triangle a c p dash is another a i p dash is a last right angle triangle we are going to use these triangles all these triangles five triangles we will use for our derivation purpose okay let us start with the first triangle what is that triangle a o c if you observe this particular triangle we have two internal angles what are those theta and alpha whereas one external angle what is that beta the rule is external angle is equals to sum of the opposite internal angles that is in this case beta is equals to alpha plus theta this is what the rule we are going to use here beta is equals to alpha plus theta or theta is equals to beta minus alpha let us name this equation as one first equation okay let us take the second triangle what is the second triangle i have taken aci coming to this particular triangle the internal angles are theta and beta external angle is gamma so gamma is equals to sum of the internal angles that is beta plus theta but from the equation number 1 we have theta is equals to beta minus alpha so gamma is equals to beta plus substitute the value of theta here beta plus beta minus alpha or you are going to get gamma is equals to 2 beta minus alpha r 2 beta is equals to alpha plus gamma i will name this equation as 2 second equation okay let if we consider the incident ray as a paraxial ray okay 
then what happens all the angles will be very very small so alpha beta gamma will become approximately equals to zero in such cases the tan of the small angles will be equals to the angle itself that is tan alpha is equals to alpha tan beta is equals to beta tan gamma is equals to gamma that is the one point we have to remember the next one is if you draw the foot of the perpendicular that is p dash approximately coincides with uh, the pole p means p and p dash almost all coincides with each other so the distances which we have measured from the p can also be measured from p dash that is what the case is here so what happens the focal length is measured as p dash f radius of curvature is measured as p dash is similarly object distance and image distances are also measured from p dash okay now <coughs> let us see here I will consider the right angle triangles now. The first one, the right angle triangle, what is that? A O P dash. From this right angle triangle, the angle tan alpha, alpha is here, na? so tan alpha is equals to opposite side by adjacent side. What is the opposite side for the tan alpha? P dash A is the opposite side, P dash O is the adjacent side. So tan alpha is equals to as I already told you for paraxial rays alpha is very small so tan alpha is approximately equals to alpha which is equals to p dash a by p dash o which is equals to h by minus u because p dash a is nothing but the height here we have seen and p dash o is nothing but the object distance which is minus u. Coming to the next triangle that is AC p dash a c p dash so a c b dash from the triangle a c p dash tan beta is equals to beta which is equals to opposite side p dash a by adjacent side p dash c p dash c is nothing but what radius of curvature for us minus r it is so tan beta is equals to beta is equals to h by minus r coming to the third triangle a i p dash a i p dash this is what the a i in this case gamma is the angle here we have tan gamma is equals to gamma which is equals to p dash a by p dash i p dash i means image distance so i have taken it as minus v image distance is minus v so we got the values of alpha beta gamma okay let us substitute the values of alpha beta gamma in equation number two which we have already derived so if you substitute the values of alpha beta gamma the equation 2 will become 2h by minus r is equals to h by minus u plus h by minus v this is what we have derived okay let us simplify this one let us take minus h common what happens minus h into 2 by r is equals to minus h into 1 by u plus 1 by v minus h will get cancelled so let us substitute the value of r here what is the value of r r is equals to 2f that is the relationship between r and f substituting value as r is equals to 2f we are going to get 2 by 2f is equals to 1 by u plus 1 by v here 2 will get cancelled so you are going to get the relation 1 by f is equals to 1 by u plus 1 by v this is the equation of the concave mirror or convex mirror both the mirrors this equation is applicable so this equation is called as mirror equation this equation gives the relation between the focal length object distance and image distance so this is very very important equation while using this particular equation you have to apply this appropriate sign conventions depending upon the situation okay dear students now we will discuss about the next one that is magnification so what is magnification magnification is defined as it is the ratio of the image distance to that of the object distance or it is also defined as the ratio of size of the image to that of the size of the object okay so it is generally represented by letter m small m and it, as it is a ratio we don't have any units for the magnification okay so to derive this particular equation what we will do we will consider <coughs> a concave mirror as usual let us consider a object o o dash of height h naught from the pole at a distance of u let us say u be the object distance okay so the distance from the pole to object is u consider a light ray which strikes the concave mirror we are considering a parallel ray which strikes the 
mirror after reflection we already know according to r1 rule it reflects back and passes through the focal point i will consider another light ray which follows the r4 rule strikes the pole and rebounds back okay in this direction so here the angle of incidence is theta which is also equals to angle of reflection so this will become angle of incidence and angle of reflections the two intersected rays the reflected rays intersect here sorry the two reflected rays intersect here so image will be formed here so let us say the image is i i dash h i be the height of the image and the image distance is v in this case the distance from pole to image is called image distance na so here i have considered it as v okay so <coughs> here we have to consider two triangles what are those two triangles the first one is p o o dash is one triangle i am going to consider the second triangle is p i and i dash these are the two triangles i am going to consider if you observe them these two triangles are similar triangles why because p i is parallel to p o o o dash is parallel to i i dash okay so first of all from the triangle p o o dash i will consider tan theta is equals to opposite side by adjacent side opposite side for this theta is o o dash and adjacent side is <coughs> sorry <coughs> nothing but uh, p o so p o is the adjacent side o o dash is the opposite side this is for the first triangle p o o dash let us consider the next triangle what is p i i dash from the triangle p i i dash tan theta is equals to opposite side what is the opposite side i i dash and what is the adjacent side p i okay we already know that that is from equation 1 and 2 here one point i have to consider as the theta are same angle of incidence is equals to angle of reflection both of them are similar triangles so i consider from these equations 1 and 2 o dash by p o is also equals to i i dash by p i because both of them are tan theta values okay now let us substitute the values of o dash p o i i dash p i what are those let us see so o dash is nothing but height of the object which is h not i i dash is nothing but the height of the image which is a inverted image here so i have taken it as minus object distance p o it is minus u i have i am applying which rules sign convention rules okay p o is a minus u that is object distance p i is nothing but what the image distance minus v okay let us substitute these values in these equations that is equation number 3 substituting the values of o o dash i i dash p o p i in equation number 3 you are going to get h not by minus u is equals to minus h i by minus v okay let us reshuffle these values what you are going to get means heights one side image and object distances one side what happens minus h i by h not is equals to minus v by minus u this is nothing but what the definition of the magnification that is h height ratio of image height to object height is called magnification or ratio of image distance to object distance is also called as magnification so according to the definition we have to, we will say m is equals to h i by h not or just i have removed the minus signs here minus minus so what happens minus sign will turn up into minus v or minus sign will be taken towards the object distance so m is equals to h i by h not which is equals to minus v by u this is what mathematically we can represent the magnification okay 